Hi, I'm Mike Vandervelden, a product manager at Simba Technologies. Here at Simba, we're often asked the question, does your MDX provider for Oracle OLAP support Cognos Analysis Studio? Let's take a look. First, some background. Simba's MDX provider for Oracle OLAP is an OLAP connector that allows Excel and other MDX emitting BI applications to access Oracle database multidimensional cubes. And since Oracle is the world's most popular database, Simba is often asked to support various BI reporting tools connecting to an Oracle OLAP database. And as you know, we already support Excel 2003, Excel 2007, and Excel 2010, both 32-bit and 64-bit. But can we support Cognos Analysis Studio 8? And yes, we can preview this with version 2.0 of Simba's MDX provider for Oracle OLAP. Let's see a demo. Here I have IBM Cognos 8 Thin Client running in my web browser. Let me start Analysis Studio. Now I've configured Cognos to connect to an Oracle 11G database with OLAP option. I've installed the OLAP train sample data set that's available from the Oracle Technology Network and those of you who are familiar with Oracle will recognize the data that's presented in this demo. So I'm going to select a blank analysis and here you see the blank cross tab that Analysis Studio presents. On the left you see the metadata. So what this means is Cognos Analysis Studio has gone to the database and queried the metadata to see what's available, including all of the measures and the various dimensions and the various hierarchies within the dimension and the various levels within each hierarchy. On the right, you see a blank cross tab or if you're familiar with Excel, Excel would call this a pivot table. Let's construct a new crosstab report. I would like to look at the data for all regions, and I'm going to put that in my columns. And I would like to look at the data for all years, and I'm going to put that in the rows. And I'm interested in the sales data, so let me put that as a measure. And right away, you see that Analysis Studio has gone to the database to retrieve the aggregated results for the sales data for all years across all regions. You can double click on a year to drill down. And I can right click to drill back up. I can drill down into uh, one continent such as Asia. And now you see that the columns have stretched out beyond the end of my screen so it would be nice if I could swap the axes. Let me just do that. Now you can see I've got the regions on the left in the rows and I've got the years across, uh, on the top across uh, the columns and it shows me only 15, uh, top 15 countries by default. I can expand that to show more. I'm going to show I guess all of them. I also see that there's a blank column and I can suppress that. I will do that with the column suppression. And so my data is a little more tidy. I can drill back up to the top level. I can also add a slicer or report filter if you will. And I'm going to filter across the products that we sell. I'm going to add as a product filter. And I'm going to filter perhaps on just computers or if I wish to go even further I can go into uh, personal computers and computer storage. Now looking at a data like this is interesting but sometimes it's more useful to add a pie chart. Let me add a pie chart. There's a standard pie chart will do. And right away you can see that I've got three pie charts, one for each year and the various colors correspond to the various regions as they do in the cross tab down below. I can drill down into any one of these regions. Let's choose the uh, Asia region which we were just in. I'll double click and you'll, know, you'll notice that the pie charts change as well as the cross tab down below. They're in, in sync and every time they do that Cognos has gone to the database, retrieved the latest data values the aggregated data values and shown them right here. 
And I can go all the way back up to the top to show everything as we started. I can, instead of drilling down into the region, I can drill down into a particular year. And so now instead of three pie charts, I now have four corresponding to the four quarters. If I drill down even more, it now shows three pie charts, one for each month and a quarter. So here's a little overview of how well Cognos Analysis Studio 8 works with an Oracle 11G database with OLAP option and how interactive the whole experience can be. Let me sum up. I've just shown you a preview of Cognos Analysis Studio 8 with a direct connection to an Oracle 11G database with OLAP option using Simba's MDX provider for Oracle OLAP. For more information, including white papers and user documentation, please see our website. And thank you for watching.